for one governor and one person occupied the entire space while we have about a thousand enslaved Africans beneath him. I wonder how he slept. Africans, some section of the Africans called the white people Abrofo or Bruni. Have you heard that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I thought it because of their skin pigmentation, but I read a book called Home Going. And in that book, the writer explains that the word obroni stems from the local word aburoni or aburofu, meaning people who knew what was good but chose evil. Yeah, we've corrupted the word to mean white people. Any questions? So in Jamaica, the word for white people was bakra. So is that also stemming from that? Bakar means what? White, white man. Oh. That's different. Yeah. This is different. different. Currently, you might say yes, but the original meaning, the understanding of a white man means someone who knows the good thing to do, but he's done a bad way. He wants you to always fall into traps. He can set traps around you to fall in. A bad person, a wicked person. A bro for a bro, I'm a bro, a bro. Don't do the right thing, you do the wrong thing. So the locals call them a bro for, hence the name a bro for, a bro for, a bro for. That's what she's trying to say. A bro. A bro. A bro means a, a, <clears throat> someone who knows a good thing, but he is doing the bad thing. Uh -huh. So singular is bro, and then we have singular and then plural. Bura means abrofo, but singular is Uburi. We good? Okay. Yeah. Now we see the bedroom. So this was 